Ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. How the fuck are y'all doing today? I got my light fixed. <laughs> the bulb was a little, um, suspicious because there was a little part that was burned, but hey, it fucking works. I'm actually going to bet, like, halfway through this stream, it's going to fucking explode. <laughs> That's gonna be a fucking joy to clean up, that's for sure. Just like all the glass shards. Jesus Christ, that's gonna be a fucking adventure. But hi, how y'all doing? You doing good? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty swimmingly. Pretty swell, if I say so myself. I just ate dinner. I almost took a really long nap before the stream started, which would have been very awkward, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm full of zest, I'm full of life now. For once, during these goddamn streams, because usually I'm just super meek and nervous like hey guys how y'all doing but holy sh oh never mind back pain that's another thing i've been dealing with all day well you know what it's fine i'm not gonna be moving that much anyway so you know what fuck it 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 fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it anyway we're gonna power through this even if it kills me even if it fucking kills me because because according to a friend of mine we have two acts to go in wonder song which we're gonna be playing today y'all excited i'm excited I'm excited, are you excited? Let's have a good time! Okay. Let's not get too crazy. Jesus Christ, okay. Get the controller. See my clothes in the background. I probably should have moved that before starting the stream, but fuck it, we're in the deep end now. Turn off, turn off background, turn on gameplay. There we go. I did it right this time. I'm a professional. Hallelujah. I did something right for once. Oh, hi, you're not on the broom. Okay, this is it. Oh, that was easy. And Miriam said, um, and Miriam made such a big deal out of it. She's so silly sometimes. Um, well, I guess this isn't exactly it. You need to get to the top of the mountain, right? Right. But I can't fly up that high. There's a crazy wind and storm, so you need to do the rest on foot. I got you pretty far, though. Also, I'm really worried about Shandesh. All those monsters went loose. Vivian can't fight them alone, you know. So if something happens to me... Well, you just really want to get back. I understand. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, okay. Um, good luck! Bye! I'm gonna need the luck. Well, let's see what we got to deal with. Let's hope it's not too bad. Oh. <laughs> okay, back to horror game. What the fuck was that? I know the guardians are getting corrupted now, but Jesus Christ. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, this place is ramshackled. Oh. It looks like the folks kind of left. Or they just straight up abandoned this place. Holy shit. Anyone in here? Hello? No, but you did help me get to the top. Okay. I'm a little concerned, but, you know, caramel dancing the night away. Fucking, why not? Oh. Hi? Oh, you. What brings you here, pilgrim? This place is not safe. Please, come inside with me. Uh, okay. <gasps> Mask is up there! I see Mask up there! I recognize the, those things. Look, it's Mask! Welcome, Pilgrim. I'm sure you've noticed now. Quiet, it is here. The heart of the mountain has changed. 
A dark beast stalks the slopes. The people who once lived here have evacuated. Only we monks remain now. Oh, damn. A visitor! How unexpected. Are you a student of Aya as well? Have you come to this high place to witness the end? We have plenty of space, and accommodations and rations. This temple was meant to support many more people, but, but they have all evacuated. We would be happy to have you here. It will be a special thing to be part of. Uh, thanks, Huang, but I... Yeah. We are the disciples of Aya. We believe in her and her plan. We have always known the end was coming. We would be fools not to accept it. But it is so plainly before us. True. Hey, Mask. Hey, now, Wander. You gonna climb this mountain? I like chilling with these monks. But I might try climbing, too. Maybe I'll see you up there. Seems things just get worse and worse these days. Are you scared of the world ending? Yeah. To tell the truth, I am, too. It's hard not to be scared. Especially for the things you can't control. Well, if you can't control it, there's no point to be scared, is there? But the scary thing is, what if you can't control it and you aren't? I really think we're connected, Wanderer. Everywhere I go, you're there too. That's not nothing. You never notice how sometimes an idea will come to many people around the same time? Have you ever felt that when someone shares their thoughts, like, Oh, I was just thinking about that too. It's like that, Wanderer. We're all connected by threads, visible and invisible. And I think the whole world is thinking together, even when we don't think know it. I don't believe in coincidences. All these big things in the universe, they're just made of small things put together. And those small things are made of even smaller things. It's impossible to understand everything. But to understand something big, you gotta understand the small things it's made of. The crazy thing is, the whole universe is just one big thing. It's made of all these small things together. And that's why, even the tiniest, smallest thing, like the feeling when you tell someone I love you, can tell you something big about the whole universe. God damn. That's some pretty profound words, Mask. Thank you. We devoted our lives to the teaching of Aya. She is a creature of light, of love. But even her love cannot extend forever. Our world is old and weary. Our overseers have abandoned us. We are beyond redemption. It is our time to go. So we are wit to witness Aya's dark hour. Yeah. Yeah. Weep. So I guess I just go. I guess so. Hey, the music's kicking out. <laughs> Whoop. I said it once and I'll say it again, man. This game's music is awesome. Whoa. I hear that static. I see that static. Who are you? Who are you? What the hell? Did I just get a little a friend? Holy shit! Oh my god, I got a friend! Oh my god, this is so cool! I get to get, maybe I'll get more friends.
Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh, I was so close. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now I got it. I fucking love this game, man. It's oh my god, this is so cool. The music kick it up with with like every bird I try and free. Ah, oh, it's so good. This game is such a vibe. See you back there. I fucking see you back there. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. No reason. Just nah. It's following me. It's following me. Don't jump scare me. I swear to God, if you jump scare me, man, I'll kill you. I love this game's music. Whoever composed this deserves a drink and a Medal of Honor, because my gosh, they do such an amazing job with this same soundtrack. And I wish, I, actually, I think it, I think you can actually buy the soundtrack on Steam. I'll have to check that after this stream, or when I get to find a stopping place, because my goodness. My goodness. <gasps> Yeti! Mr. Monster! Wow, I can't believe it's you! Do you live in this cave now? Can I come through? Oh. Flip made me jump. Please, dude. Guess I just go. Huh? Um, hello? Aww. <laughs> Oh my god! The bird's my friend! I forgot about that. Oh my god, I love this gay. <laughs> I love this game so much. Ooh! Thanks, man! Ah! A lot of pill bugs in here. My brethren! Aww. I love this place already. Hello? Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Thank you. Thanks, man. Okay, don't jump on the bugs then. Oh! 
Okay, cool. I was about to say, like, is there a way I can get around? Yup. But holy shit. Bars is a softy. I love him. I thought I heard my monster friend. I guess not. Careful. Careful. Yup. Not here. And up here. Whoop. Careful. I did it. I did it. I did it. Scratching an itch. Not that way. So there's gonna be like a point where I drop down one of those pits and there's just I'm gonna actually step on an entire pile of the poor things. Eee! Okay. Okay. Come on. Whoop. Whoop. Wait. I think I know what to do. Yeah, there we go. Very difficult. <gasps> okay. Did it, 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 I did it. I miss my friend. I guess I got new friends. New little buggy friends. Whoop! Aww. Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so cool! That's so fucking cool! Oh my gosh! Wait, don't get crushed. Don't get crushed, little guys. Oh. Thank god. I thought they were about to get crushed. Now they're gonna be very upset. Oh my god, this game is so cool! I love this game! <laughs> My brethren! I beseech thee to help me through this quest! I love this game, man. No words can describe how, how fucking... How just delightful playing this game is. I... I honestly urge anyone watching this to play this for themselves because my god They weren't kidding when they said this game was delightful and I I agree This game is fucking delightful Okay, no Okay I thought I did a bad for a second there. Holy shit Okay Uh... Oh, I get it. I get it! I get it!
I got to get a lot of bugs. Come on, little guys. Oh no, they're stuck, aren't they? All right, I know what to do. Okay. I get in the pile, little dudes. Hell yeah. Oh, jeez. It's probably giving someone who, who hates bugs like a really big what? Okay, the stream just disconnected. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. All right, I think we're back. Anyways, this is probably giving someone who hates bugs like a really big like fear. Aww. Cute. Later, guys. Thank y'all so much. Don't think I'm supposed to be here. But I gotta put a crystal, I guess. <laughs> oh, hi, it's the beast. Oh, hi, it's FNAF. I don't think I was supposed to get this yet, but I, I have some now. Hey, little guy. Whoa. Aww. Who's texting me? Oh, yeah, it's cool. Dude, this game's music, man, I swear. So, oh! Oh! I can write it! Oh my gosh. Hold on. You want some more? Yeah. Here we go. I just gotta keep feeding him like crystals. That's cool. You okay? Doing good, buddy? Oh no. Oh no. There's gotta be some crystals nearby. Crystals! Here's some. Here you go. Okay, there's gotta be some more crystals up here somewhere at least, right? Hey, little dude. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Oh, this doofy little smile, it's adorable. Okay. Freezing up here, isn't it? Maybe there's some more crystal. Yeah, there's some more crystal down here. Eat up, buddy. You need the energy. Oh! Oops. Doing all right? I assume by your smile you're doing all right. Just want to, just want to be sure. You know, better safe than sorry. I love that smile. Oh no, he's getting tired again. Come on, little dude, come on. Crystals. Here you go. Here you go. Think you can make it? There we go. Didn't need to waste all your energy. 
hopefully there's some more crystals up ahead. Is there? Yeah, here's some. Here you go. There you go, buddy. Sorry, sorry. Ha! More crystals. There you go, bud. Doing all right? I'm like really paranoid that the stream is ending because the bars are gray right now and usually that means something bad is going to happen. Okay. Oop. Okay. Crystals, 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 crystals. Where are crystals? Crystals. Top right, top right, top right. No, 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 no. Don't mount. Give the boy his treat. He deserves his treat for being such a good boy. Okay. All right. <sighs> Doing all right. I don't think our little guy is holding up so well. Thank God there's some crystals right here. <laughs> Fuck, it's freezing! Make your treats. You're a good boy. Good boy deserves his treats. Let's wait for the wind to pass where we start flying. All right. Okay. No, 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 no. You need your treat before we start getting, before I start mounting you again. Okay. And uh, how the fuck do I get up there? I think I gotta you go over here, maybe. There might be some crystal. Oh my god! I mean, there's some over there, but. Okay, I got an idea. There we go. Probably not the intended method, but it's a method. And I think I'm going to try and use the intended method now. Give me a sec. There we go. There's the intended method. Oh, nice and warm in here. Nice and... Ah, never mind. It's freezing. Here you go. Take your treat. You're a good boy. I don't think I'm supposed to be using my boy here. I think what I'm supposed to do is this. This was a mistake! Okay, okay, we made it. We made it, we made it. Hopefully there's some crystals. This boy deserves his crystals. Ah! I didn't know the wind would do that. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have allowed you the poor thing. God damn it. Come on. Blow the other way, you stupid wind. Thank you. There's the other platform over there. Whee! Ride like the wind, bullseye. Literally. All right, boy, here's your crystal. Here's your crystal. I was gonna name him Boy because he's a good boy. It is fucking frigid up here, isn't it? 
Is there somewhere that isn't so cold? That's my cheap boy. Yeah, there you are. Hold on to your butt. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> there we go. Alright, we made it. Without having to waste all of his energy. Let's hope there's a crystal. Please tell me there's a crystal. I know, buddy. I know. I know. You need food. I'm trying to find some. I promise. Doing all right? Do I just run? Do I just go? That? Oh god, I know what I gotta do now! <gasps> Friend! Buddy! Oh god damn it, not you! Nobody cares, Audrey. Yeah, no, it's not stun silence. It's chosen silence. I don't want to answer your damn it questions. Looks like you're in a real pickle here. Lost on a mountain, giant monster. Really calls for a hero, don't you think? Really calls for you to get the fuck out of here before you make things worse. Wow, you're really no fun this time. I guess that's fine. Let's make this fast, shall we? I'll say it's finally time to unleash my secret weapon. The Potion of Power! Oh no. Fitting, don't you think? This is the one you got for me. And now it's gonna save your life. Oh no, wait! Spare me the theatrics. You aren't seriously trying to t stop me from killing monsters, are you? No, that's not it! Audrey. Yeah, you should have listened, shouldn't have. Ah! Oh no. Holy shit. Well, at least he's alive. <laughs> Somehow. Um, are you? Gah! Jesus Christ. <sighs> Where am I? Where's my sword? Did I lose it? Ah, uh, right! The monster! I drank that potion and... Uh... I look for a way out of here. I look for a way out of here. So, anything? Um... It's a total cave-in! We're trapped! And my sword is gone! You! Me? Yes, you! It's me! You ruined everything! Hey, you're the one who wouldn't listen, bud, so this is kind of on you. As usual! I We tried to warn you. We tried to warn you. You didn't listen. And now... And now... 
There's no way out. Um, I guess, <laughs> um, you might really die here. I might really die here. The hero, you can't do anything? Not without my sword. Oh, what about the rainbow girl? Who? The rainbow girl, you know, the messenger from Aya? You mean Isla? She was, a, she has a name? <laughs> She's not coming to help. Back in the Shandesh, I told her to leave and never come back. Are you fucking serious with that shit? Seriously? Why did you do that? She bothered me. She's manipulative. She's supposed to be my guide, but she just told me what to do. That let me think for myself. Like she knows better. Last I checked, I'm the hero, not her. Well, I mean... A real hero shouldn't be bossed around all the time. If you just follow what everyone says, then you never decide anything for yourself. It's demeaning. You probably wouldn't understand. I... Ayala didn't either. She'd just tell me what to do, where to go. But I'm not her puppet. It's my job to save the world, so I got rid of her. What the fuck? She bothers me too. She told me I could save the world by meeting all the overseers and singing to the Earth Song, and that I was special and she believed in me. But it doesn't feel like it at all. The overseers are dying so fast, no matter what I do, everything's getting worse. When I asked about you, she said, Don't worry about that little bard. The Earth Song is totally made up, and it'll never work. You're the real hero. What the fuck, Isla? She... she said that? I thought she said the same to you. I had no idea why you kept trying. It doesn't make sense now. She just lied to you. No. She told us different things. Maybe she lied to you. Or maybe both of us. She would never lie to me. I'm the hero. She just told you what you wanted to hear. Really? I'm pretty sure she told, tells everyone what they want to hear. So, she told you you're not the hero? Yeah, she tested me. With your sword, I think. But I couldn't use it. Oh. You must be really special to be able to use it. I think. It kind of makes me... jealous. Really? I'm really scared about the world ending. I wish I could do anything to stop it. I want to make a difference, but I'm so small and unimportant. You can change things. You can make things happen. But you're using your power to kill overseers. I don't want to give up on the world. It feels wrong to end everything. I wish it was my choice. Well, that's a relief. Huh? With all the of Isla's lies, I thought for a second that, well, it's ridiculous, but she made me think I might not actually be the hero. Before all this started, I felt like you do. Small, weak, normal. Being the hero isn't easy. You have to know Were you even listening to me? Don't you have anything to say about that? Making the world end? You're fine with that? Well, I don't know. It's the way it works. How do you know what that's how it works? You said yourself that Ayala told lies. What if that was one of them? I know it because I'm the hero. But what if it's made up? You said you were worried you weren't the hero. You didn't let me finish. But what if you aren't? I am. I can use the sword and you can't. That's how it works. Why does using the sword make you a hero? Because that's how it works! <laughs> Look, whatever. I don't care if you think I'm the hero or not. It's totally inconsequential, okay? Thought we were on to something, but nope, you're still a dick. Doesn't change anything about our situation. 
We're really trapped, huh? Yeah. All right. You really want to know the truth? I am scared. About the ending the world. A little bit. But that's what the hero is supposed to do. I can't let my little fears control me. Even if sometimes it means pretending. I couldn't say that to Ayla. Because then she'd think I wasn't the hero. What if she changed her mind? Took back my sword? I can't go back to just being a nobody. But now that she's gone, and you can really decide for yourself, you don't have to do it, do you? What if it's the wrong way to save the world? Have you thought about that? Do you still really want to? Yes. I considered all of the angles, and that's the way it has to be. I don't know anymore what is real, was real, and what was just stuff she said. But if there's a chance, even just a tiny one, that the world didn't have to end, and everything would be okay, isn't it worth it to try? Audrey? What was that sound? So, are you gonna check it out or what? Alright. Ah! <gasps> Little bug friends! <laughs> bugs! Bugs? Bugs, Audrey! Bugs are here! Did they move these rocks yes audrey bugs mo move rocks they're very good and they can help us escape so you're saying i have to rely on bugs to get me out of here i mean you relied on me so far hmm well i'm friends with the bugs but we don't have to help you too what you leave me here to die you have to make a promise audrey you have to promise to be nice. Okay, sure. You have to say it. Say you promise to be nice. Really? Yes! Say it! Promise to be nice. Louder! I promise to be nice! <laughs> and you have to promise not to end the world. <laughs> I can't. Yes, you can. That's a very normal, easy thing to promise. Look, I can do it right now. I promise not to end the world. It's not that simple. The creator of our entire universe chose me to do that. I can't just promise that way. That's not how that works. Fine. But then maybe I shouldn't help you. What? Come on. I'm serious. If I help you escape and you kill the last overseer, it'll be my fault. I could save the world right now. I could leave you here. Don't do that. It won't. Ugh. I promise not to end the world. There. Okay. Yeah. Look, Audrey. I think they're telling us to follow them. Well, don't mind if I do. Of course. Here's a look back here real quick. What's <laughs> up? Can't believe we're getting out of this. When I realized my sword was gone, I thought I was done for. I feel naked without it. Even if we get out of here, I don't know what I'll do without my sword. I hope it's still on top of the mountain. What do you need it for anyway? You're not killing overseers anymore. It's more than that. It's the source of my powers. Without it, I'm basically nothing. Audrey, that's not true. Your sword isn't what makes you great. Well, my sword is what lets me shoot lightning. I would say that's pretty great. What were you like before you knew you were a hero? Before I was the hero? Nobody cared about me. Nobody? Why would they? I mean, yeah, I'm strong and smart and pretty, but lots of people are those things. That's what makes people care about you. When I got the sword, that's when they cared. 
So Ayala tested you in a dream, right? Yeah. Did she test you too? Yeah. When the end of the world is nigh, I think everyone in the world has that dream. That's how they find the hero. Everyone? Everyone. They all, they're all told the world is ending too, but most everyone forgets about it after, or pushes the knowledge to the back of their mind. It's a hard thing to accept. How did you become friends with bugs anyways? I was just very, very careful. Everyone steps on bugs without thinking. Can you imagine how that feels? What, to step on bugs? No, to be stepped on. Sounds pretty painful. Not just painful. Sad when nobody even cares about you. So I don't step on the bugs, Audrey. And just for that, they're your friends? Yep. Caring about others just goes a long way. How could you care about something so insignificant like bugs? Hey there, hey, hey, hey. You're, so, you're on thin ice, Audrey. How did you even know they would help you? Huh? I didn't know they would help me. That's not why I care about them, Audrey. I care about them because they're living things. And even if they never did anything to help me at all, they would still be worth caring about. You're so... simple. Hmm, I guess I am. Let's go. Yep, here we go. Hell yeah. See? And you said he's not special. There we go. Wait for me, Audrey. Whoa, Audrey! Don't step on the bugs! Oh, I wasn't even watching for them. They might be tiny and fragile, but they're special. Bugs are cool, Audrey, and they're our friends. And you promise to be nice. Okay, well, can you ask them to move? This game is so cool. All right? Oh, shit. You. Ah. Come on. There we go. Hell yeah. Thanks, little dudes! <laughs> oh my gosh. How much you want to bet this is the spirit world? Oh my god! Right as I say that! Work! This is an overseer castle? Yes! And I'm the Heart Fairy! Why is there a castle inside this cave? I don't know. Why is there a cave inside this castle? Oh, it's because the spirit world collapsed. So everything there got pushed into here. Bork! Seems possible! Ugh. Wait, so does that mean the overseer is here? No! He left! All this weird stuff started happening at once. The King of Hearts got sick and started acting funny and making monsters. And now we're in a cave? And he ran away. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're not supposed to do anything. The King of Hearts can't be fixed. The only thing anyone can do is end the mis misery. Whoa, wait a sec. Audrey, you promised not killing overseers. That's right, I did. But then what should we do? Do you think this better this way? The King of Hearts is a beast skulking at- Wait a second. Is the King of Hearts a big black wolf monster? Yes! Well, he is now, but he was nice before. So that monster we saw earlier, that was the King of Hearts? Are you really gonna kill him? No, we'll find another way. 
Right, Audrey? What are you gonna do? Sing to him? Maybe. That's ridiculous. That might work. The King of Hearts is really likes music. If there's any bit of him left, and you put all your heart into it, he might respond to it. It's worth a shot. Yes. See, Audrey? We have to try. And you promised. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. Maybe. Maybe it can work after all. That'd be nice. Ork, you give me a good feeling. Are you the hero? Oh, no. That's Audrey. But you, do you really think I seem like a hero? Yes! I like you. Wow. I like you too. The King of Hearts is really good. Or at least he was. He's the mon He's the most sweetest, loving, nice wolfie. He loves everybody and he would never hurt anybody. Yoza, I'm so worried about him. Why did he have to start acting so strange? Do you think he'll be okay? I don't know. But we'll do everything we can to help him. Me and Audrey have very special agreement. We're working together now. Okay. Gosh, I'm excited. I really hope you can help him and bring him back here. He's my most special friend in the whole world universe. He loves to bark and play and howl and not make evil monsters. <laughs> Even though that was what he does now. You're an adorable little puppy, aren't you? If he can make him normal again, I think everything is going to be okay. Okay, enough already. Do you talk this much to everything? We need to get a move on. Well, bye. Bye. I mean, it was worth the shot there might have been some important dialogue wait up wait I was gonna talk to you do you really think his singing is gonna help do anything yeah it has to I hope you're right for both of our sakes remember the sun and moon overseers when overseers are dying they lose their personality and their shape by the end there's nothing left that's recognizable so even if the king of hearts used to love music there's really no guarantee that part of him is still alive now. Ugh, no way. Music never dies, Audrey. You'll see. Hey, hang on a second. Where's your witchy friend? Oh, Miriam? You hurt her, remember? Oh. Well, you and her really messed up back then. Letting creatures out of the spirit world, and she was a real jerk too. But you aren't so bad. I'm amazed you let her hang out with around you. Her attitude was so bad. Hey. Don't talk about Miriam like that. She's my friend. And I'm still mad at you, you hurt her. I hate that you call yourself a hero. You just act like a big bully. When you have a problem, all you do is hurt people. You're not a hero at all. And what you did to Miriam was really terrible. She was just trying to help my friends. She was going to save the world with me. She's a good person. You didn't have to hurt her, Audrey. That was just plain evil. Sorry for hurting your friend. You're sorry? I'm doing my best to be the hero and do the right thing. Maybe I went too far. Is she okay? I don't know. She had to go home, but I think she'll be okay. I just wish she was here. The things you do with your sword aren't always good. I know you fought monsters and saved lots of people, but you also hurt us a lot. I think it's good that you lost it. You don't need it to be a hero. You'll see. We'll work together and save the King of Hearts. I hope you're right. You've su already surprised me, so I guess at this point, I'll believe anything. I won't be much use without my sword anyway, so as scary as it is, my fate here rests in your hands. What have I gotten myself into? Well, let's go then. This is very treacherous. Treacherous. I love it. I guess it kind of explains why there's like random cracks of like crystal in the walls. <sighs> this is getting scary, man. Oh, 
All right. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Ready, Audrey? Hey! Oh, it has the sword. Oh, it has the sword. That's my sword. That stupid dog has it. Where is he taking it? Let's go after him. Oh, I guess he can't really dance when he's freezing. That's fair. Oh, this is this is scary. Like I said, this these are scary parts before, but this is legitimately scary. Hey, that stupid dog! What are you doing? Oh no! Holding my sword over lava? Give it back here, boy! No! Yes! My bird friend! That was close. Too close. Audrey? This thing almost destroyed my sword. That would have been a catastrophe. He's evil. No, Audrey, don't you see? He's scared. He doesn't want you to hurt him. That's why he tried to take your sword. But he didn't hurt us. Didn't hurt us! He buried us under a rock slide! We're lucky we escaped alive. Your bird friend has the right idea. The beast hurt them too, didn't he? This isn't what you promised. You have to be nice. Let me just sing. You have to try, Audrey. I think there's still something good inside him. Oh. Jesus Christ. It looks like it got too close. Hmm. That doesn't look good. That thing's just a monster now. It won't listen to us. No! There has to be a way! Also, we didn't even try anything yet. There might be if you let me hit it with lightning. That'll stun it, and then you'd be able to get close. Will it hurt? Will that hurt him? Yes. <laughs> But only because I want to help him. Please don't do any more than you have to. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Oh my god, there was a shield. Hey! Could you make yourself useful and maybe cover me? I can't charge up if he's attacking me. Well, I just realized I could do this. I'm sorry. Seriously, I can do all this magical shit with my singing, and yet... What is going on? Seriously, how is this guy not considered a hero when he's able to do this shit? Look at this! He's able to block magic shit with his singing! This is a really cool parallel and I love it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess we did the right thing. This music is so cool, man. What the hey! How why did that work? Do I have to sing upwards like I did last time? Whoa!
Okay. So I have a hypothesis. I think I have to sing in the direction of the wind. Like these things. I don't know if it does anything, but it seems to be doing something. Holy shit, holy shit. This is so cool! Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do in that attack? Ooh! All right. Definitely seems to be doing something. Is he shrinking? Yeah, he's shrinking! Oh my god! We're almost there! Just don't kill him! I swear to god if you kill him! Sorry. I legitimately don't know what to do for that attack. Holy shit! That could have been ugly. Audrey, I know you're trying to charge up, but can you please stay still? Okay, okay. I think I protected Audrey, I think. Ooh! All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, 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 come on! Hey, you're the king of hearts, right? I bet nobody ever tr even tried to talk to you. But you're not really so bad, are you? <gasps> Audrey! Audrey? You, you promised! Yeah, well, I lied. But why? The King of Hearts wasn't bad. He didn't even have to die. You just don't get it. And maybe you never will. This is just how it had to happen. And I did what I had to, to make sure it did. I told you, I can just promise away my responsibility. Being the hero is more than that. That being the hero is stupid. It's stupid and I hate it. It's stupid and I hate it and you didn't have to do it. You could have chosen different. We could have healed the Overseer, and fixed everything, and stopped the world from ending, but you ruined it! You ruined everything! Sorry. You... cock. Will be! No. How you doing? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you, ever again. What? You're a liar. This is just a game to you. You don't really care about us at all. You don't care if the world ends. You don't care about anything. I thought I could be a hero. I thought I could change something, but it was all a lie to make me feel good. I should have never listened to you. Will be, that hurts. 
But it's not true. I really didn't lie to you. I swear. Actually, I came to tell you, I'm totally on your team now. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you're still definitely not the hero, but that doesn't matter. You're good. And there's still a chance to stop the end of the world. There's still one more overseer. The one we, um, skipped. The Dream King? Yeah, I told Audrey as much that maybe she should stop and give you time to collect the Earth Song. But she really didn't like that. One bit. Really? I think she's really scared, Lil B. When I said she w should wait for you, she acted like I was talking, uh, taking something from her. I think she really wants to be the hero. Basically, no matter what, she's kind of dangerous. Oh, god damn it, the stream. The stream crashed again. Hello, we back, we back, we good. Okay, we good. I mean, I love you both, but she's got to be stopped. Then there's no time to waste. Yes, we need to hurry. Back to Lang Tree. Right. But first, you gotta collect the King of Hearts song. Right. Wait a fucking minute. Didn't Audrey just say earlier that she said that the Earth song was made up? Oh, wait. Oh, that's cool! Oh! Oh, that's cool! That's so cool! Okay. I think I gotta... Yeah, 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 hold on. Okay... Oh wait, did I fuck up? Am I fucking up? What am I doing? Okay. I feel like I'm fucking up somehow. Who's texting? Ah, it's the goddamn that again. Okay, I think... Oh, oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! I actually did it! Last act. The Song of the Storm. In the Storm, I mean. <sighs> Let's hope everyone in Langtree is okay. I'm gonna go take a break, do some stretches. But I will be right back, cause holy shit. Holy shit, dudes.
Hey, I'm back. And I'm guessing by the fact that that says 17 minutes now that I, uh, missed yet another stream crash. That's fantastic. That is the most terrifying thing in this game so far. Oh. Where are we going? Oh my God. Oh my God. Ruby's house got absolutely murdered. Miriam! Yeah, that's what I said. Ellie, are you feeling better? Good enough. Is your grandma okay? She's fine. I got to say my goodbyes to her. Figured I'd see you here. Just one more overseer, right? Right. It was so scary without you, Miriam. I met the hero again, and I thought we would be friends, actually, but she didn't want that. Yeah, no crap. But she also told me some things. She's not evil, Miriam. She's just misunderstood. Coming from you, I think that means the same thing. I don't even care about her. I came to see you. I'm sorry I left. I couldn't let you do this part on your own. Aw, Miriam. This isn't a joke. This is really it, Ellie. We're gonna have to fa fa face the Dream King and probably Miss Hero, too. If she kills him, it's all over. The world is actually going to end. And everything we worked for, and all the places we've been, and all the people we know, they're gonna go away. You understand that? Yeah. I'm scared, Miriam. But we'll just have to do our best. I'm glad I'm doing it with you. You. Okay. Let's go. Fuck yeah, Miriam. Fuck yeah. What was it like seeing Safi again? It was nice. I really missed her. Maybe it's stupid, but I was so worried. She wasn't going to be there. Everything's a mess in Delphi, too. Monsters everywhere, and, you know, she's so old. Well, I saw her. It got very emotional. I'm just not good at that stuff. Why am I even telling you this? Don't be embarrassed. I'm glad she was okay, too. Oh my god, there's still people who are alive. It felt like such a failure. Showing up back home like that, without saving the world, but she didn't make me feel bad at all. She was just happy to see me. He's the best. Aww. I still feel guilty for leaving you. Sorry. It's okay, Miriam. You did what you had to. Ah, I hate how nice you are. You really shouldn't be to me, but you're my friend. I'm not a good friend. Sure you are. No, I'm not. You climbed that mountain by yourself and you had to deal with the hero. I shouldn't have left you. It really was okay. That's not the point. I, I didn't leave for good reasons. You were hurt. Sorta. It wasn't really that bad. The truth is, I probably could have come with you, but I was scared. I'm scared too, Miriam. I don't mean like that. I mean, I am scared about the world ending and stuff, but that wasn't why I was scared when I left. Ah, I sound so pathetic, I'm scared of everything. Why do I have to be like this? What were you scared of? I shouldn't have said anything. This is embarrassing. Never mind. Wait, I really want to know. Why were you scared? Ah! I don't know. I. I guess it's. scary being close to someone. Okay? That's why you were scared? I knew you wouldn't understand, but. I want to. I don't have a lot of friends, okay? I don't talk to people, and I definitely don't tell people things about myself. I'm so bad at this. You tell me things all the time. That's what I'm saying. That's what's scary. This is scary. Sharing feelings. Are you scared now? Yes. That's what I don't get about you. You act like everything's no big deal, even when it is. I just admitted to you that I basically ditched you to go die alone in the mountains or something for no good reason. And you don't even care. I shouldn't have come back. 
I should have never shown my face again. Miriam! You shouldn't feel that way. I'm sorry for pretending like it's no big deal. I know it's how scary it is to share your feelings. To be honest, I'm not good at it either. That's crap. All you do is share your feelings. You sing at everything. I share good feelings because it helps people, but I have bad feelings too. I just don't like to share those because they're not important. Huh? You think my stupid feelings are important? Yes, everyone's important and I want to help them. I guess that's why I only share good things. Sharing bad things doesn't help. It would help me. How do I, you think I feel? Always complaining, always having problems. While you pretend you're perfect. That's what's scary. It made me feel worse about myself. Like I'm crazy. I'm sorry. You aren't crazy. I'm the crazy one. No, you're not. You're just weird. So, you really aren't mad at me for leaving? No. I think you did your best, and that's okay. Really? It doesn't hurt your feelings at, at all? Well, I guess it hurt my feelings a little bit. But more than that, I'm really glad you came back. I missed you a lot, Miriam. <clears throat> Sorry, food. Yeah, I miss you too. More than I thought I would. I guess that's why, even though it was really scary, I felt like I had to come back. You're a really special person, Ellie. I spent my whole life alone and sad, but you made me feel a little better. Just in time for the end of the world, I guess. But I'm glad for it anyway. I'm glad I had a friend like you before the end. Okay, I just had to say that. I'm done now. No more icky feeling stuff. Back to cool Miriam now. I like icky feely feelings, Miriam. But okay, just so you know, I feel the same about you. Thanks for being my friend, Miriam. This is so sweet. Hey guys. Bodling, you look 10 times stronger than last I saw you. Not in your muscles, but in your heart. I can see it. You must have had quite an adventure. Me, my boy has grown strong too. He's surely tougher than his old man. It's been difficult raising the boy with a ghost mother. I hope I did a good job. Even if he never will grow up. For some reason, it still means so much to raise someone. I can't thank you enough for bringing Merrily back to us, Bartling. It made this final time mean so much more. I would be lost without her. Well, I still feel lost all the time, but it's much better than being lost alone. Amen, man. Amen. I... I'm scared. Why is everything breaking? Why is everything bad? Did I do something wrong? I wish we could fix it. Dad says it's gonna be okay, but I don't believe it. I think the world really is ending. Just like mom said when she came back. It's sad. I know, Woody, I know. It's so dark out, and everyone is so dour. It's bad enough the world is ending. Why does everyone have to be depressing on top of that? Foul creatures destroyed my house. Cretins. They had me move to Bronson's house. And then it got so nasty out here, everyone wanted to stand outside and watch. I was perfectly fine inside, but they made me come out. Said we should be together for the end. I hate moving. Just let me die in peace. Everyone's so worked up about the end of times. All my friends are dead already. Who gives a hoot? Ah. Sure had a lot of time to think on it, and I don't think I've got any regrets, kiddo. If this really is the end, I'm glad I got to be here f it with my folks. And my pa, too. There's nothing in the world I want more than I already got. That's really all there is to it. Langtree's my home through and through. I'm staying with it to the very end. I know you didn't grow up here or nothing, but I always knew Langtree was your home too. It's really something to see you back here now. You're part of our family, kiddo. Thank you, Amir. Hey, Clive. Zones! What a time to see you again! After you left, everything spiraled out of control! 
Vicious monsters attacked our poor village. They tore up tr trees and houses. Oh, it was even worse than the ghosts. Thank goodness Miss Mayor was here. Our little Lang Tree has seen so much strife. Thanks, our lucky stars were all still here. Even you. But, oh, jeepers, they say the world is ending now. Could it be true? It's all too much. Godzooks, I... If it's really all landing, I... I never... I never told Miss Mare how I feel. I still don't know if I have the courage. How could she care about a little old thing like me? Maybe... Maybe I will tell her. Oh, I can't do it. Same as ever, eh? You know what? I think that's a good thing. Bartlett! Oh, goodness. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Marley and I miss you so much. It's certainly been a time here. It's as the spirits warned us, I suppose. I can't believe it's the end. It's been so hard for us with all this. Especially Ruby. I was so worried for her. But the mayor told me not to worry. And to be with Marley instead. She's been tending to Ruby in my place. She's so gracious, Bartlett. The mayor, I mean. I admire her strength so much. She really cares about us. I wish I could be a person like her. I wish I still had time to become that person. All these people mean so much to me. Lane Tree is really a special place. You always belong here with us, Bartlett. I'm so glad I got to see you again. Oh, thank you. Little bird. Goodness, it's been some time. You must have had the most wonderful adventure. I want to hear all about it. Oh, the end is coming soon, isn't it? I'm having the most dreadful thought that there isn't even got enough time for you to tell me all your stories. I miss talking to you, little bird. We used to talk forever and ever, didn't we? But there's no more time, but there's no more forever left. I've had the most wonderful life, surrounded by lovely folks like you and Francine and all of Langtree. I couldn't ask for much more, and yet I want to. I wish we all had more time, little bird. Thank you for your smiles and your music. I love you, little bird. Aww. Thank you. This is so sweet. Really sweet despite, you know, the world ending, but still. My goodness. Thanks, little bird. Let's hope we can actually do it. <clears throat> Remember these obstacles from the beginning of the game? I sure do. Sorry, dude. It's weird that this music is giving me, like, Bug Snacks vibes. I mean, it probably is. But if they're made by the same... I gotta check the composer out at some point, because, my gosh. I loved Bug Snacks music, and I love this game's music, so, my gosh. If, it, if this game's composer was the same as Bug Snacks, it'd be a match made in heaven, honestly. Fucking cool. Here it is, folks.
Whoa! It's the other fairies. Oh boy, you again. At a time like this, what is it with you humans? Waiting until the worst possible moment to show up. Stuff's about to go down. Big stuff. The Dream King's fading. And once he's gone... Poof! The whole world's over. You sure you want to be here for it? You should go hold someone you love. Or something. Where are the, you're the hero's welcome party. You met her? She's pretty intense. Can't really say I'm a fan. Having your overseer killed ain't exactly fun. Hmm. Wonder if there's any analogy you'd understand. It's probably kind of like if your mom got killed or something. But it's also kind of her job to die. And you're kind of supposed to help. Uh, I doubt you get it. Looking back. I'm glad you made me go back to the Queen of Winds. Even though it was hard. We really cared about each other, you know? It was important for me to be there for the end. Aww. Bork! The King of Hearts didn't make it back after all. Aww. I'm sorry. I really tried. That's okay. Losing out your overseer is part of being a fairy. Even though it's sad, I knew to expect it. Talking to everyone here made me feel a lot better. I know it's going to be okay. I'm still sorry, but I'm glad you're okay. Are fairies parties... Are fairy parties normal? Like this? Where all the fairies hang out? No! It's so cool meeting other fairies. I didn't know any of them. We never got to hang out. Oh. You just hang with your overseer? Yes! Until they die. Whoa. Where do fairies and overseers come from? Hmm. Well, fairies are made by overseers. We aren't nearly as old as they are, though. Overseers are like heart of the planet. They exist when the world exists, and it dies when they die. The idea that they are different entities is an illusion. They're all the same thing. Huh. Actually, the separation of all things is an illusion. We are all part of the same whole. Everything you know is internal to you. It's influenced by external forces, and those forces are also influenced by you. Because they are all, all connected, and your senses, which tell you otherwise, are lying. Huh. I don't know if that really answered my question, but thank you. Aww. He's adorable. Hey, the Order Fairy. You've come to... before the end, too, hmm? It's a bit like a party here. So fun, I love parties. I wish I could make a tea for everyone, but the Dream King doesn't have any. Shucks. You like yours black, too, don't you? I knew he'd be in trouble right from the start. The Dream King was such a mess of an overseer. How did he get to be the last one alive? It's not fair. I think I'll wait to go that way. Dream Fairy. Meow, I had a feeling you'd be here again. Because of my determination? Nothing like that. Mr. Dream King has only gotten worse. He spent a lot of time away, avoiding the hero. But he can't do that anymore. He's really sick. Meow is worried he doesn't have much longer. Good thing we made it just in time. I'll sing to him. I'll, I've been all over the world now. I have every piece of the Earth song. Except his. So it's totally different from last time. This time he has to listen. Meow isn't sure about that. But you don't care what Meow thinks, do you? Nope. Sheesh. <laughs> Mr. Jinky really isn't a bad guy. Really, really. But he's been through so much. It's hard even for Meow to understand sometimes. Being alive for an eternity, it would make anyone go crazy. Meow just wishes she could help somehow. And Meow really wishes deep down in her little heart that you or anyone could talk some sense into him. But the hero will probably come, be coming soon too. Meow hasn't really seen her. But when she does, that's going to be the end. Meow is ready for that. Oh, it's, it's the sun and sun and moon fairies. Oi, what's up? Thanks for busting me and Mooney out of the spirit world. We had a bunch of cool adventures together here. Mooney's so sad about losing his overseer. Well, I'm not really, though. The Sun King was pretty messed up. I guess for me it was more obvious, since he put me in a cage after all that. And I guess the Dream King's pretty messed up, too. It's too bad. It's only a matter of time until he, he goes full monster. Hmm. Ain't that just the way? Here 
are so scary. Everyone, Yon Sophie's here is a gone. I miss the moon, Queen. At least I have Sunny. Aww. Thanks to Sunny, I've been practicing my bravery skills. I've been living in this strange new world, not seeing my overseer, and basically doing whatever I want. All with my best friend. It has been baby steps the whole way, but if you keep on walking, no matter what, even a baby like me can step far. That's what Sunny told me. I feel less scared of everything now. Well, a little bit. That's sweet. The physical world is so intriguing. It's very solid and consistent. I really like it here. Oh, the Chaos Fairy. Oh, hello. You come just in time for the end. We've all gathered here to bear witness. It's a very special time for us fairies and for the universe. It's sad, but perhaps not too sad. Everything must come to an end at some point. Ready? I don't know if I am. I don't remember this staircase being so long. Or tall. Hi, Dream King. Mr. Dream King. Uh, how what? Uh, how are you doing? Fantastic. Definitely a lot deteriorating at an alarming rate. Still got my winning personality and charm. See? Mr. Dream King, we really gotta talk. Oh boy, great. The hero is on her way here right now. And you've, you're you the very last overseer. If she kills you, that's the end of the world. Oh, wow, really? Thanks, didn't know that. God, enough of the sass! We need the Earth Song from you! Before you're dead! Give Ellie the last piece now! Okay, sir. You will? No. You know, it almost makes me sad, realizing you will never get it. Because you won't give it. I don't mean the Earth Song. I mean it. You travel all over the world now. You must have seen yourself. Everything is falling apart. Everyone's losing hope. Those aren't just signs of the end comings. That's what the end is. It's inevitable. Collecting the song pieces doesn't matter, and clinging onto the Earth Song as some kind of easy answer for all your problems. That's what's sad. This world ha was over before you even started. That's it? You just want to give up on the Earth Song? It's impossible. Everyone and everything are moving apart. It always has been. Ever since the universe started, expanding, decaying. If the world, if the whole world could still act together as one, the end wouldn't have come in the first place. Look, I don't want it to be over either. I did everything I could to delay it. I broke the rules, but that made everything worse. The world outside turned ugly while I stalled. People are suffering. Making the world go longer just as natural. You need to let go of- OH GOD! That was easy. That's the end then, right? Credits roll. Thanks for playing. YOU! I can't believe you did that, Audrey. Quit acting so surprised. You both did a great job, getting in my way in every step, but in the long run it was pointless. I win. You losers never stood a chance. Feels good to be honest. I almost wish it wasn't this easy. Ayala told me about what happened between you. She didn't lie to you, did she? She believed in us. If you had just waited, we could have saved the Dream King. She told you that, huh? Okay, it's true. In the end, even Ayala turned on me. That's why I ditched her. Because she was wrong. 
And if you never understood then that, it doesn't matter. It's over. Oh crap! Is it happening? Oh shit. Now that's more like it. A real final boss. You're insane. That means we still have a chance. We have to stop her from killing the Dream King. I know that. One last chance. You, me, and a giant evil boss monster against one lone hero. Pretty good odds, right? What am I gonna do? Oh my god, that's amazing. I actually get to use the stars against her. Ah, Jesus! Ah, this is stupid! We can't protect the Dream King forever! Eventually she's gonna win! What do we do? Steal her sword. She can't do anything without it. Steal her sword? That's ridiculous! Right, okay, you focus on distracting her. I'll go for the sword. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! Shit! Need another star there, Dream King! Oh! Oh, I get it. We gotta use the vines now. As well as the stars. Chet, 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 chet. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Another star. Anything. Come on. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I got an idea. Fuck! I did that towards myself! Christ! Stop kicking me! I got an achievement called Bard Kicker. Come on. Almost there. Oh no, oh no, no, please, no! Okay, okay, okay. I know what to do now, I think. Into the vine, dude! God damn it, I suck with aiming with these things! Ow! Ow! Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no! Not this time! More, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Come on, oh 
almost there. Almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Damn it. I keep hitting myself with those things. Oh, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Come on! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Come on! Please! No! I'm not losing now! Come on. I'm not losing now. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta distract her with the vines and then I gotta use the stars against her. I think, I think. I think that's what I gotta do. No! I don't know what I'm doing. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her! Yes! Don't move! You, Audrey, you losers! Ruining everything! And I actually made ruining everything! This is my quest! This is my story! Everything that is, exists is at stake! How dare you try to make that to yourselves! How dare you try to make it about you! It isn't! Audrey, you're special. What? I said you're special. Even if you weren't the hero, I mean. Audrey, you're super strong and you're super smart and really great at everything you do. I get why you were picked to be the hero. You deserve it, but that doesn't mean you have to do it. Being the hero isn't just a title. You can do whatever you want, and you'd still be special. I really mean it. Let's stop fighting. If you just give up and on doing your, your way, maybe you wouldn't be the hero, but I could learn the Earth Song for the Dream King and stop the world from ending. We could actually save the world. Everyone would be okay, and you'd be a real hero. Okay? That's not enough. What the fuck? Oh. Oh my god. There's no audio. Oh my god. Whoa! Well, I guess that did something. What the fuck? Hey, it's Mask.
All I did was play one note. What the fuck? Wait a fucking minute. The Earth Song isn't just a song that one person sings. It's a song the entire Earth sings. Holy shit. That's so cool. Oh my God. I didn't think the game like this would give me the power to cry. <laughs> I didn't think they'd have the power to make me tear up like this, but... <sighs> My golly, they did it! I'm sorry for the sniffling, but god damn it.
Holy shit, we're still not done. This game is delightful, man. Sorry for the sniffling, but I love this game, man. I don't think I said it enough, but <laughs> I really love this game. Step. Y'all ready? <sighs> All right, let's do it.
Oh my god, Miriam! Oh my gosh! Holy shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so, 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 so proud of you two. We did it! Right? Did we do it? I thought it was over. We never got the last piece of the Earth song. <laughs> I thought so too. But in the end, it didn't matter. When you reached out with your voice, the whole world answered back. And Aya heard you. She saw you all working together. Just for a moment. And it was just enough to harmonize with her new song. What you sang wasn't the Earth song. It was something special. That only you could have done. And even after all infinite infinities of our universe's beginnings and ending and beginning again, I've never seen anything like it. That's why I'm so proud of you two. Nobody ever tried like you did. It wasn't even supposed to be possible, but you made it possible. You changed the rules forever. You gave hope to everything that exists. And that's just so special. <sighs> Holy shit, man. What a fucking game. <laughs> what a fucking game. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're here. You said you want to check in on your friends, right? Just let me know when you're ready to move on. Wait, I still get to play? Holy shit! I never thought I'd see the day. But peace talks are finally happening between Chant, Dash, and Rule. If only Hala were still here to see it. I'm keeping her intentions in my heart. and trying to speak in her place. It's never easy with Mother's stubbornness. But I suppose that... That was Hollis' challenge as well. Oh my god. It feels so bizarre, sitting here and talking to the Witch Queen like she's just another person. We spent our whole lives afraid of you. Get over it. I'm not going to live forever. We don't have time for distrust. I need to know my people will have peace after I'm gone. The Sky Temple was destroyed in the monster outbreak. It's too important a place to leave like that. Are you going to rebuild it? Uh, I thought you people wanted the temple. I thought you did. Well, we did, until it got busted. Maybe we should rebuild it together. Yeah, like a symbol of our truce. That's a splendid idea. Oh my god, this game. It's hard knowing what to ask for here. All we ever wanted from you was to be left alone, I guess. Leaving alone is what got us into this mess. Where our communication died, distrust grew. Until we lost all concept of our, your true intentions. We need the promise that we won't be alone anymore. We are here together, and that isn't about to change. So if we are to coexist peacefully, we need to work together. Holy shit. It's you. I promised myself I'd, if I ever saw you again, I'd capture you and put you back in prison. But now we're in peace negotiations, so your counts of treason are currently suspended, I suppose. Of course, man. Boss! You made it back! 
You were keeping Shanda safe while you were away. It was tough. The monsters just got worse and worse. Tough for regular old witches, maybe, but not for us! No, it really was tough, though. Yeah, I guess it was pretty tough. But then all at once, they just vanished. It was a miracle. They probably gave up after we fought him so hard. <laughs> Something really special happened, I think. It did, man. <laughs> it did. He heard your voice from far, far away. Well, more than just your voice. It was something huge. A million voices at once. Like that song you sang to the king and queen. Oh, excuse me. That's how we knew it was you, boss. And all at once, everyone started singing along. It felt really powerful. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. You actually have a really nice singing voice, Dan. Oh, thanks. It looks like the war is ending. So maybe Shandesh won't need protectors anymore. Yep, it's true. We were talking about retiring the masks. I'm really... I'm ready to just be a regular witch again. I'm not yet. We could fight crime here at home. But I couldn't do it without you, Sam. Shax. Aww. Oh my gosh. I don't have the words to describe how... how happy and delightful this game makes me feel. Ready to keep going? Holy shit. Oh my god! They're all turning into overseers! Oh my gosh! Hola! Looks like we have a special guest in the audience! Now that the borders are open again, we hit the, the road! Or the river to my boat. We're sa we are a sailing band! Like pirates? Not really. But look, I even got a new accordion! We still remember your song, too! That's right! Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Let's go! And a one, two, three, four. Oh my god, they still remember the song! I, I really wish I did a better job with the song, honestly, but you know what? It's still one of the nice that I remember it. Still really wish I made that guy in, in on beat, though. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not smashing my guy. <laughs> it's fine, dude. It's really expensive. Thanks, dude. Hey, Phil. Wait for her. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I gotta see Jeez. I should probably go blow my nose, but you know what? It can wait. Holy shit. It's been a time and a half, eh? I'm grateful just to be alive. After all, we, we in the world went through. Didn't think I'd ever see the capital again. And look, there's witches here too now. Everything's changing so fast. But after so much war, that's a good thing. <laughs> I think I'm ready for some wafering of my own. I'm gonna take my banjo and see the world. Any way I can, wafer. Cause there's so much to do and so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if he's... And you'll never show if he Hey now, you're an all-star, Phil. <laughs> I wanna be like you, wafer. Traveling the world with a song in my heart. Making people happy wherever I go. Yeah. Everyone will know I'm coming by from the sound of my banjo. And they'll call me a special name, like that guy filled with the banjo. Yeah, that's the dream. You do you, Phil. You f you chase those dreams, man. It was so scary. I thought for sure the world was ending. I'm glad it didn't. Good thing the hero saved us. She's the coolest ever. I wish I met her when she was here. Nobody knows where she is now. She vanished. I bet she wanted to live like a normal person now that the world is saved. She's so humble. Me, I would want to be famous. I really wonder what she's doing now. I want to be strong like her someday. You're... Uh, good to know what else. Hello again. Did my flower come in handy? You said it was to save the world or something, didn't you? The world's still here, so it must have worked. <laughs> yeah, May, it did. It, it helped a lot. <laughs> my husband gave me that flower many years ago. It was a haughty one. I was protective of it since it was the last thing I had of him. 
But of course, that's not true. I have all of our happy memories together, too. The flower wasn't worth much by comparison. Giving it away felt like the right thing. I was finally able to move on with my life. See? I even left the house. Ho, ho, ho. I'm in a wonderful mood. The likes of which I haven't been in a long time. So I made cookies. I'm sharing them with everyone today. That's sweet, May. Aww. Oh my god. Can I jump up here and talk to the guys up there? I guess I can't. Wait, if I had collected the... Nah, it's fine. That's for other people to discover. Oh, shit. Hey, man! Hey, it's Mom. Oh, it's my muffin! Are you finally moving back in with Mama? No. What a shame. Your father finally came home after all these- Wait, a what?! That was your dad?! Holy shit! He settled in completely right away. Now I can't get him to leave. I couldn't even make him come home out to say hello. That's okay. I don't even remember what he looks like. Muffin! That's so too sad for me to even think of. He grew up without a father's love. Maybe that's why he turned out like this. Muffin, even if you are very strange, you know your mama loves you, right? I wish you s I saw you more. And he'd never say it, but I'm sure your father is ashamed forever for never seeing you. We should all have a m meal together someday soon and be a family again. All we have to do and all we have in this world is each other, Muffin. Let's not let each other go. Okay. Well, I can see where you get your ability to make others smile, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> you came back. Me and Doggy are doing so great. We never would have come together without you. Thank you so much. I mean it. She taught me a lot about myself. Nobody in this world ever believed in me before you, but now it feels like everyone does. It's hard feeling worthless, and it's hard when nobody cares about you, because you can't control if they do. But you can control if you care about other people. Doggy gave me someone to care about. I'd never had that before, but once I did, it made me feel so cared for. Now that Elra is opening up a lab, I think I'm going to help out there. I've never done science before, but I want to learn. Being with Elra makes me feel so special. It feels like we can do anything with her. Pet the puppy, pet the good boy, pet the good girl, pet the good, pet the good puppy. This is such a delight. I got a new job now. I'll never have to wear that cruddy happy kid mask again. And I'm finally putting my science degree to use. The factory's lab now, have you heard? We're developing stuff that's going to change the world. Good for you, Miles. The Barrett may have had some wacky ideas about toys, but the guy really knew how to build a production line. This stuff is going to take us far. This isn't going to be a crappy factory town anymore. Christmas is going to be at the forefront of technology. I can feel it. I believe in you, Miles. Hey, Peter. You've returned. You've been toiling away here. After our quest to destroy the factory, we've had to create something to replace it. This astronomer, uh, that is Elra, she has such a grand vision for this city. I couldn't help but to be taken up by it. I've seen Miriam here as well. Part of me wishes to speak with her again, but I suppose things are awkward. Miriam and I are on separate journeys. I can see now that it was never meant to be. If only I'd be... I had the wisdom to know it when, it when she did. My heart still burns for her, but in a respectful, non-romantic way. In the cold, dead city Christmas once was, Miriam's passion burned loud and bright, but now the people of Christmas start free. And our dreams, which were once frozen beneath the snow, can finally thaw and bloom here once more. It is a new life for all of us here. Um, I guess that's it for Peter. Holy shit. Hey, buddy. Hey, Elra. Ah, oh, my old cohort. How do you do? With the Baron stepping down from the factory, I've seized the means of toy production and repurposed it to be my new laboratory. 
There's so much machinery in here, which is so much potential. We could use it to manufacture new technologies to the benefit of everyone. That is my vision for this place. One by one, all the stars went out until none were left. I was watching the sky at that moment. It sent a shiver down my spine. I was sure the world had come to an end. But then all at once, the sky was filled with a completely new stars, new constellations, new galaxies, a new hope for us. I don't know how long our lease on existence has extended, but it made me reconsider what I was doing with mine. And that's what brought me here. <laughs> and they say the stars guide our destinies, that some can be born under a lucky star, and some not. I think it's a load of shock quack. Part of my language, huh? But there's something poetic about that new sky of stars, isn't there? The old stars that guided us are dead. Now our destinies are, are in our own hands. We get to decide what will become of this world moving forward. Maybe that was always true, but now I believe it. I hope to create a f good future. You do that, Aura. Aw, oh, thanks for playing. Yeah, let's go. He began the new order oh, overseer. Holy shit! Oh, look at him with his suit. So cool. Oh my god, the pirates! Lou! Youngin! Made it back in one piece, huh? I was worried. Didn't think you had it in you. He's like you don't go far in this world. At least I thought so. Bet you've seen some things now. Maybe a crusty ass old Lou now, heh? <laughs> no, you definitely ain't. I ain't one to leave the ship much, but the sky's putting on quite a show today. I ain't never seen something like it. You gotta be grateful for life's miracles. You sure do, Lou. You sure do. Hey, guys. Hey, Penny. The bar to 500 beans is back. Business has been going well. All these bozes I've been worrying about mermaids, I've been keeping on our bean foes strong. Money isn't going to make itself. I mean, I haven't been all business, but mostly I care so much about this crew. I want them to have good lives, you know? That's why I got to be the one to keep our, her eyes on the beans. I like my job. Kept us going this long. So great to see you again. You gotta have a coffee with the crew later. Or, oh, right. You and coffee don't mix so well, do you? Well, I've heard about this th new thing called decaf. If you like terrible things. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Hey, Francisco. Why if it isn't the silly one? Back for more, huh? Uh, just kidding. The truth is, the whole crew's as silly as they come. I've been fooling myself denying the obvious truth. It's good to have you back. So actually, I've been thinking about quitting coffee. Yeah, I don't sleep great on it, and it makes me feel anxious all the time. I haven't even had any today yet. This guy is exploding with glowing stars, so it hasn't been too hard to stay awake. Well, I'm happy for you, Francisco. Glad you're trying out new things, you know? Hey, Captain! Matey! It's been so long. Have you been adventuring? We've been on some of our, some of our own. The mermaids joined our crew now. We sound better than ever, matey. You've got to sing with us again soon. I came into this world with a dream to captain my own pirate crew. And when I saw me first mermaid, I had no one more to see her again all my life just to make those things real. And now they are. It's something special, matey. I feel blessed every day. This crew is more than a crew. We're a family. A family we all chose together. And now that my dreams came true, I want to foster their dreams. That's what a good captain ought to do. And remember, matey, to this family, you'll always be like a weird cousin or something. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you can come back anytime. We love you, matey. Oh, thanks, captain. Hey, dude. Woo! Me and my girls are taking over this ship. No more hiding out. But on secret islands for us, we're adventurous now. It's pretty great. The captain is an alright guy, turns out. He was really weird when we first met, but he kind of chilled out. I like this pirate persona. And also, I like being a pirate. It's a cool new direction for us. What's next for us? I don't know. I'd like to travel the world. See something besides just ocean. I hear there's these other ocean types called, like, rivers or lakes or something. So, those sound pretty chill. Well, I hope you'll be able to see them soon. You'll love them. They're really peaceful, honestly. 
And some of them are really fucking crazy. <laughs> Look at him. Back to Delphi. Hey, Ash. I can't believe Delphi's still here. When we left, it really seemed like it was over for this place. I'm glad. I went and visited my mom's grave. I wish I could talk to her again. I've been around the world now playing my accordion, just like her. And I think I'm getting pretty good, too. I wish I could show her. I wonder what she would have think of it all. The world changed somehow, didn't it? There was a time when everything was bleak, and it felt like all the spirits of the world were close. But it's not like that now. It feels more stable now. Peaceful, even. I don't feel the same fear I used to, but I do miss feeling her close. Well, I know she's still out there. I just hope I made her proud. I bet you did, Ash. Honestly, I'd be pr I'm proud of you, man. I'm sure she's proud of you, too. You did great things. Things, honestly, I wish I could do. Keep on doing. Keep on keeping on, man. Ace! Who knew we'd find each other again, Delphi? We didn't think we'd ever be back here. And you neither. But a miracle's happened. Delphi's shining brighter than ever. And we're back from an adventure around the world. Feels like the spirit is back. We're gonna play some shows here they never forget. Looks like our journey is about over too, eh? You got to sing with us again? What do you say? Totally. But not right now. I haven't been home in forever. I want to have some rest. But I promise I'll be back. I'll hold you to that, Ace. The whole band misses you like crazy. I could stay out of Delphi for too long. She's my town. She gave me so much growing up. Maybe I've been all over the world now, but I wouldn't have gone anywhere if not for her. I owe a lot to this place, and I'm going to keep giving back, because I'm sure somebody out here needs my help too. Keep on giving back what you've been given, Manny. Give the, and give the folks the best spirit that they could ever have. That made no sense, but I, I hope you see what I'm trying to say. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. But still, keep those spirits up. And I hope everyone keeps their spirits up around you too, man. Feels good to be back in Delphi. It's the same classless dump as before. But I've gone through a transformation. I played my heart out on the world stage. I've soared like an eagle. Being here reminds me of how far I've come. I have to thank you again for bringing the band together. Manny's rough around the edges, but he gets gigs. And Ash is a downer, but their accordion sings like an angel. And then there's me. We make such a great team together. You'll sing with us again someday, won't you? Of course. We're having a bit of a comeback tour here. Back in the Crazy Raven again. Oh, it's so perfectly full circle. And after that, who knows? He feels like we could go anywhere now. I'm sure we will. Of course, Viola. Hey guys, I can't talk to them. Odd. Maybe if I go to the other side, there's more people. Hey, Win. Hey, you're the bozo who said the crazy raven. Well, things are going better than ever. That band you started is back in town for a show, and my comedy act is on fire. Want to hear one? Yeah. What did the ox say to her kid when he moved out? Bye, son. God damn it. You know my weakness. <laughs> Freaking puns. Yeah, I think we're done here. Let's go. Holy shit. Oh my god, the raven! <laughs> oh my god. He's a big boy! He's a big boy now. Hi, Safi. Oh, it's so good to see you. Miriam's told me so much about you. She did? Oh my, yes. She cares about you so much. And you made her feel kind of a warmth she never had before. She might never tell you that, but I meant so much to hear that from her. She's such a lonely girl, you know. Thank you for being there for her. Of course, Safi, of course. She's a great friend to have. I had no idea to see you two again. Of course I hoped, but the situation was so hopeless. 
All I really wanted was for Miriam to see the world and make a friend before she lost a chance to ever do those things. I'm so much more grateful for that than I am for the world being saved. Aww. I knew right when we met that you were someone special. This world can be so dark. We need people with courage to smile and look out for the lost and lonely. There are so many out there who need help like Miriam. We all need a bit of love. I agree, Safi. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> hey, trolls. Ooh, the human. The okay human. We've met some or okay humans. This witch kept us safe even when the world fell apart. Who's texting me? Oh, shit. This witch kept us safe when the world fell apart. We're starting to think humans might just be okay. Only just starting, though. They might still be terrible. I think they're okay. Agreed. Hang on a sec. I was told to clean out the drain trap and I forgot to. <sighs> hopefully this doesn't take too long. Still, holy shit. It's hard to forgive after what happened to us. That human was definitely terrible. I hope she's not mad. With the scarf and the lightning sword. I think I know who you're talking about. You knew that one? They're so bad! Hmm. Humans aren't really like that. I promise. We're definitely not all like that. Sometimes we can be real jerks, but there's some good ones too. Please don't give up on us. They say one bad apple rocks the entire barrel. That's definitely a lie. And I hope you all find more decent humans one day, because honestly, you guys deserve so much better. Ready to keep going? Yeah. Let's go. What? You're leaving just like that, Miriam? After bringing your friend all this way? That simply won't do. Ask if they'd like to stay for dinner. You wanna stay and have dinner with us? That sounds nice. Oh. <gasps> oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. Look at the queen. So, this is goodbye, huh? Just for now. But we're gonna hang out all the time, right? I hope so. Oh, look at the babies. I'm tired. Me too. We came a really long way together, didn't we? Yeah. Thanks for saving the world with me. Yeah. Thanks for being my friend. Aww. Okay. Bye. Bye, Miriam. They're still, they're still snoring in, in that insane talk. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. You can now access scene select. Oh, cool. Maybe I can find more, uh... Maybe I can find more uh, of masks uh, dances from the other uh, from the other worlds that I missed. I guess. 
Okay, I... This game is so fucking delightful. I... I wasn't expecting to get emotional back there, but holy shit. <laughs> so silly, silly hearing him going, la 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 me, 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 while he's snoring. That's adorable, but... Oh my god. I'm so happy that I gave this game a chance, and I'm... And I, and I wish I gave it a chance sooner, because... Holy fuck. It's, it's really good. It's so delightful. Every turn is just so... Um, so wholesome and amazing, and I just... I wish there was more of it! Well, at the very least, I want more people to experience it. Go get this on Steam, or wishlist it if you can't buy it yet. Just support the developers in any way you can, because holy shit! They did such a good job with this game! And I... I thank them from the bottom of my heart for making something like this, because... Holy shit. Okay, I think I gotta go before I get emotional again. Thank you so much for watching this stream. I hope to see y'all in whatever the hell I decide to stream next, because oh my gosh. <sighs> this was delightful. Alright. Hope y'all have a good night, a good evening, a good weekend, a good week, month, year, a good life. Just have a good one. Bye. Thank you.